Hi guys, welcome back to FRK Gaming. This is part 15 of the Minecraft playthrough. In the last episode, we dismantled the other village and got the iron golem to spawn back in this area. And thank you guys so much for the support in the series. Uh, the subscribers are growing and the views are growing as well. Um, what we have planned for this episode is to get more netherite. I have been mining netherite off screen. I got four pieces that's enough for one piece of netherite ingot. So let's go back into that mine. I've just got a better way of mining this stuff and I decided just to use my iron pick for the insta mining, you know. So I'm just gonna take some resources into the nether and then I'm gonna start mining. Um this is all in preparation for one point twenty. When one point twenty drops it will make getting netherite armor and tools ten times more difficult and cost 10 times more resources. Um, I think with the last haul of, uh, the last haul of, uh, resources, we are running out of space, so we might as well expand the storage area here. We will be expanding this house and having a, this base and having a separate storage area, but for now we'll just have these chests lying in the bottom level. Hopefully no creepers blow it up like in previous episodes. So yeah, I've got that four pieces of netherite or raw netherite uh, cooking, so let's go to the nether. I have created like miles of tunnel. It takes it is quite time consuming to mine the netherite mine the nether rack for netherite, so I will be fast forwarding most of this video. Um the nether is still isn't space even though I've got full time and armor but that's always the nether and I need to remember to wear gold to protect myself against these people and the guy okay let's just hide for a bit <laughs> right there you saw how quick uh I have my diamond took mine let me update this a bit safe so I don't try to keep down Brooklyn the other one is shooting up here My is almost broken and I'm pretty sure by the end of this video my pickaxe will be broken. Try not to break it so I, I can use my anvil and maybe get a uh, efficiently three pickaxe, maybe efficiently four. But I'm breaking three but um, I would have to wait. Uh, fortune would be great as well but I don't do much mining since the iron farm is up and running again. Okay, you can see how all the different parts I have mined. It is miles and miles of mine. I, I didn't just say I mined off camera and like mined a couple of blocks. I I mined all of this. So let's continue on the part that I have started here. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to get maybe um, two pieces of netherite. I mean, two netherite ingots per episode, which translates to four ancient debris per episode. Uh, this is going to be 4 ancient debris here. The next episode will not be a mining netherite episode. It will probably be uh, starting another automated farm. I didn't get much more uh, redstone in the last episode, but ideally I would like a better method of farming. Especially since it's 1.20 and it makes everything much better. Not only will it cost a little bit several more diamonds per uh, netherite ingot for the three is also gonna ask us to get the template thing. Um, I think it's always for the pattern, different kind of patterns that you're gonna have on armor. Whether some got gold uh, lining, some got emerald lining, some got I think there's like 12 different types of lining, including other like materials besides um, metals. There's like quartz, uh, amethyst, geode, and so on. So it's gonna be a crazy big update when it comes to customization, like when they add customization. Oh, first ancient debris, great. Two more to go. Yeah, so when they added uh, customization to uh, leather, when you've been able to uh, 
make leather all different colors, shades, and whatever. That was a big update, but now we're gonna have it not only for leather, but for all different kinds of armor sets, including um, gold, iron, uh, diamond, and netherite. Um, it's gonna be cool. It's going to take a long time because for each individual pattern, there is um, a different uh, stencil, and each stencil can only be found in a specific uh, structure. So, like. For the jungle stencil, you need to be in a jungle temple. For the desert stencil, you need to be in a, in a desert uh, temple. If you want um, the ocean, the, the the aquatic stencil, you need to be in an ocean monument. So it's gonna take forever just to get each and each stencil gets consumed. So when you get a stencil and you put it onto a piece of armor, it gets destroyed when you turn that armor into a stencil. So what you have to do is you have to place duplicates of the stencil using seven diamonds and a base and that's i think the worst part of the update it, it takes too much resources maybe if i had stacks of diamonds i, I wouldn't be behind but right now it's gonna be uh, quite annoying to get uh, it's already so annoying just to get netherite armor at this stage um, so the either stencil for me is put netherite armor onto your armor you need the stencil from the bastion so I have to loot bastion, get more diamonds, then pop duplicate the stencil, which is already too a headache. So I think I'm before the 1.20 update drops, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do this. So I'm gonna try and get as much netherite and uh, ancient debris as I can before the update drops, and hopefully I can get chest plate, pants, uh, boots, helmet and pickaxe uh, before the update drops. This is already taking so much, I think my inventory is already full of netherrack at this moment. I might need to pull a netherrack structure, so please comment down below for which netherrack stru what structure you want to pull with the netherrack. Maybe some of the rack is probably going to um, build or extend the, the farm of the place. My inventory is already full. And I only got one piece of ancient debris, so that's kind of the, the rate at which you get that piece of ancient debris. And I'm at the proper Y level, Y level 15. Maybe I should go lower, maybe I should higher. Comment below if I'm at the right Y level. This is what Google says. But you know, Google always you know, is correct. Yeah, so these tunnels are endless. Probably gonna get lost in these tunnels. I don't really want to, but it's kind of frustrating that my inventory is full and I haven't found my second piece yet. So, oh, second piece, great. What luck. Looks like there's only one piece here. Okay. Continuing on. You do get veins of these things. They're not only like individuals, like the last like five pieces I've got, a couple of off camera, were all individual pieces, but there is veins. So you can get like one to two veins. Um, I think the biggest you can get is four veins. It's divided into chunks. So if you already found one in one chunk, the likelihood or the possibility or the probability of you getting another one in the same chunk is pretty low. And there's another one right here. Great. That's number three. I think I'll keep it at three for now just to turn that space because of the, the fourth one or the first one I got in episode 13. Um, and I just got one there, so just to see which level I should be mining at. So this is my so three plus four I got off camera, and this one here this would be eight pieces. That's enough for two nether ingots. I think I'll do my chest plate and pants when I do get a max level uh, pants and chest plate. I'm holding off on making them netherite because I want to have um, as I said max level protection for unbreaking um, all the stuff mending before I make the first thing that I write because the last thing I want is like to have something stuck on like fire protection or whatever so I'll just hold up on them let me just melt the uh, last four pieces of ancient debris if I have enough gold I'll make the two ingots of netherite so that's four ancient debris 
what was going on but do some trading oh yeah one episode not even two hours in and look at all that i am i've been wasting on uh, so this i've i've calculated this about eight hours worth of wastage trying to fix the last the, the farm while the last uh village was up luckily i killed those villagers or two my my pickaxe got destroyed from uh, that mining so luckily i saved it didn't go for a fourth piece for the third piece just in time get the pickaxe um let me use the budget first before i combine them and make a efficiency three so yep i got the uh, eight pieces of gold required that's the first two ingots i think six more to go um maybe i'll just do sword and uh pickaxe but thank you guys so much for watching Please like, comment, subscribe for more. Uh, in the next episode, I will be doing my ultimate farm and goodbye.